Hello everybody, we are back with another Stitches to Riches episode. This is episode three. If you have not seen the other episodes, you might wanna go watch those, but let's get straight into the video. So last video, what we did is I actually showed you guys how to complete the KO Perico heist. If you don't know how and you want an India tell guide, go check out my KO Perico video. You can check that out if you click on the tag in the top right. And now we're gonna start this video off by going to our asset lab, filling that up and checking on it. And then we're gonna go over to the Diamond Casino. And obviously, like I said in my last video, what is a GTA day without the Diamond Casino? So we're gonna head over over there i'm gonna spin this wheel real quick and looks like we only got a discount today's goal is gonna be the nightclub the nightclub is a very high passive income business it is one of the best businesses besides the kasaka in gta online you could possibly do i would highly recommend checking out my guide on it it's not the best but it'll get you through the basic and get you to be able to start making millions of dollars now we gotta earn some money in order to buy a nightclub and so we're gonna need to do the k preco heist once again but it is a little different from the first time you do it so as i was saying before the difference between the first time you do the k preco heist and the second time the first time there's all sorts of cutscenes and all that annoying junk but the second time what you got to do is click on gather intel like you would before you would fly over to this area where a plane will be held and guarded by a bunch of armed people and you want to take them out after you take them out you want to steal the plane and then you'll fly to Cayo Perico Island once you've flown it to Cayo Perico Island as you remember before you have to go to the compound and do all this extra stuff but this time you only have to go and follow that same route as in my Cayo Perico video or my last video and just follow the the same route and get to the communications tower once you get to the communications tower you, you can then hack the signal box like you did last time and then once you do that you want to open your phone go to the security cameras and you don't need to scope anything out except for whatever the primary target is so you just want to go to like the fourth camera i think and wherever that room where the madraza files were in last time you're either going to find some sort of jewelry or type of loot inside of this glass box or it'll be the madraza files again after that you just want to head back to where you spawned which i recommend getting caught by a guard because it'll It'll spawn you back very quickly where you were at before and then you just want to take a picture of all the secondary loot like we did last time in this big building right here after that you can just head back and this time we have the sparrow so the setups end up going three times faster maybe even more because it's so much easier so in this one so the ones you want to do for these setups and for this one is going to be approach vehicles you want to go for the long fin again so you just want to go for the plasma cutter the fingerprint cloner and the cutting torch and then in weapons you can just do whatever one you want i highly recommend going with the aggressor and don't forget to get suppressors obviously once all of those are done you just want to start up the ko preco heist and it'll be just about exactly the same as it was before so we got a successful ko preco heist which we earned around just over 1.1 million because we got the elite challenge so now we can buy the nightclub which was our goal the main ones i would recommend buying are these two in the top here but they're a little more expensive so the one i bought was actually down in the bottom left here because it only cost 1.3 million and that's pretty much all i had so yeah i'm just gonna buy that one and then we can head over to it and an easy way to head over to it is is using your sparrow and you can actually just summon it anywhere you want because it's like a real helicopter you can really just summon it wherever you want whenever you want instead of just using it in the kasaka if you're wondering how you do that you just go to your interactions menu then service vehicles then kasaka and then you click request vehicle and you just want to make sure it's on the sparrow after you head inside this long cutscene will play super long cutscene actually you know just in case you guys don't want to go and view my nightclub guide which i do have one i'm gonna just put it in the video real quick and i'm totally not doing it for retention hacks i'm just uh g giving you guys a nice free way to it so yeah here you go the nightclub is one of the if not the best business in gta online that is why i'm going to be explaining the whole thing and trying to get you to go from a beginner straight to a pro and make millions of dollars let's get straight into the video first let's talk about pricing and location so i would definitely recommend getting one at the top here it is a little more expensive you can get one that's way cheaper but this is where all of your cell missions are gonna be and it's also gonna be where your setups are so i find this to be a lot easier if you pick one of these two but you can really go with whatever you want the nightclub comes with a garage so you can just park your cars inside of there if you really want to and once you head inside of your nightclub there will be a few things that happen uh first will be a really 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 long cutscene, and yes yeah, so you just have to sit through that and then after that i'll show you what to do once you've finished that cutscene, what you're going to want to do is head upstairs to your computer this is where you actually get to set up your nightclub there will be two setup missions and this is exactly why i wanted you to buy the nightclub next to that highway because it just makes the setups a little bit easier so the first setup, it uh, depends on which one you do. I started off with the staff 
set up and all you do is just get in the car, drive over to all the employees you need to drive to, pick them up, and drive back to the nightclub. The second setup mission is fairly easy as well. All you do to activate it is do the same thing you did with the first one, just go to your computer and set it up. What you do is drive over to a festival, pick up this party bus van thingy slash DJ setup, and then drive it back to the nightclub. It is very, very easy. After that, another really long cutscene will play, but I seem to enjoy these a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. There will be a third and final setup, which is collecting your DJ from the airport. And this goes a little bit wrong. So you drive to the airport and it turns out that his pilot had fallen asleep. So what you need to do is chase him through Los Santos all the way over to this Sandy Shores airport, I think it's called. I'm not too entirely sure on the name, but you just chase him over to this airport and then collect him and drive him back to the nightclub. It takes a little bit long, but it is very simple and easy. And yes, after you take him to the nightclub, another cutscene will play, but it'll all be worth it in the end. Once you have finished that up, you will be able to access your nightclub whenever you want and run the business from there. Now we're going to head over to the computer and I'll show you guys everything about the nightclub. Here we have the homepage. Here you can view your nightclub popularity, your nightclub jobs completed, your nightclub earnings, your warehouse sales completed, and your warehouse earnings. And you can also just view your total earnings and total stock. I'll explain this in a little bit. Here in your nightclub management, you can view your player visits, which is not too important, your daily income, which is just from things like you know, NPCs coming in and dancing and buying drinks and all that kind of stuff. And I'll explain that in a second. Your safe capacity, which is where all of that money I just talked about will go and how you can collect it. And celebrity appearances, which I'm pretty sure it's just where a celebrity comes in and maybe you can do some sort of mission or maybe earn a little bit extra money from them. So your goal for this business is to keep the popularity up as much as possible. And you can do that in a couple of different ways. You can do this by clicking here and click promote club and it'll give you a mission to keep your popularity up. And and this makes it so you can earn more money or more daily income like I talked about. And in this save, I'll show you where it is in a second. You can earn 50K every 48 minutes. So you can really just go AFK as long as your popularity is up. And yeah, you can earn 50K and the capacity for it is 250,000. This is one of the ways you can make money in the nightclub that is very nice. Here, if you go to the resident DJ section, this is also another way you can promote your nightclub. So each of them, if you book them for the first time, it'll cost 100,000 and it'll fill up your nightclub popularity all the way, no matter where it is. But after you book them once, it'll only cost 10,000 to book them the next time and it'll only fill up your popularity a little bit. Here we go in warehouse management. This is where it gets a little bit technical, but let's start from the top and move our way down. So up here, you can hire these technicians, which cost a little bit of money, maybe like a couple hundred thousand is the highest one. And it gives you the first technician for free, which is very nice. So now down here, this is what you use the technicians for is cargo and shipment, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research, organic produce, printing and copying, cash creation. Now, all of these correspond to an actual business in the game, or I guess a separate business in the game. And if you own one of these businesses, like for instance, cargo and shipments, if you own one of these, you can assign a technician to that business and they will acquire stock over the span of an hour. And eventually, once you have enough stock, you can sell your stock for however much money that you have in stock. Here is where you can sell your goods. And this is where you can also view your stock if you want to. So up here, you have cargo and shipments and you can just click click on that. If it's filled up, you can just click on that and then you can sell it. Or if you do a special sell mission, which they take a little bit longer and I don't really think they're worth it because it's just one little shipment instead of selling all of them. So I would recommend clicking sell all goods because you can just make a little bit more money from that. I honestly don't think the special orders are worth it, but do whatever you want. Feel free. Next, we have the upgrades. Let's start with the equipment upgrade. If you purchase this upgrade, it'll install higher quality equipment and this will improve the productivity of your warehouse technicians, allowing them to acquire stock faster. The staff upgrade will hire additional bartenders and bouncers and this will reduce the daily popularity loss of your nightclub. Now for the security upgrade. If you purchase this upgrade, it'll bring in security guards and surveillance equipment and this will reduce the chance of your nightclub being attacked by enemies. I've never had this happen before, so I don't really think you need to buy this, but do it if you want to just in case. Now onto this safe I talked about, and this is where you get money from things like the bartenders selling drinks and people coming in and dancing and like doing all that regular daily stuff. It's right next to your computer. You just walk over here. It's hidden in the wall. So you just go over, click the button that it says to open the safe. And once you open that, if you have money in there, you can just walk up to it and it'll collect it automatically. And yeah, this will get you basically a lot of money if you just leave it AFK and every once in a while, keep your popularity up. And another way you can keep your popularity 
clarity up on that subject is I think they're called nightclub events where say you are walking in your nightclub I think this happens every 48 minutes and a icon like this will pop up and it'll say that either a VIP needs to be taken somewhere or a troublemaker needs to be thrown out you walk over there and if a troublemaker needs to be thrown out you'll just walk over click the button it tells you to or if there's even a button at all I can barely remember you'll take the troublemaker and then throw them out of the nightclub it'll it'll be very easy you just play a little cutscene but the other one can get a little bit more complicated where you have to take the VIP to a place within a certain amount of time and you can't drive too fast or crash into anything because it will scare them sometimes you can get a really really close location which is very nice but a lot of the times you can't so just be prepared for that if you want to do it because it'll keep your nightclub popularity up very well it happens every 48 minutes which is good because that's all you need to do is do one every 48 minutes to keep your popularity up all the way as long as you stay on that your popularity will stay up no problem if you go to certain areas of your nightclub like the warehouse it'll give you a new contact called Johan and also this is where all the stock will be kept in order for you to sell it like we talked about earlier also downstairs in the basement you can access your cars and this is where your cars will be stored in the garage you can also purchase more storage upgrades by going and renovating your nightclub where you bought it this is very useful if you have many businesses and have acquired many stock but you feel like you just want more and also it's very good because you can earn way more money and way more stock from this if you don't have many businesses but you really want stock what you can do is call Johan like I talked about a little bit ago you should be at the bottom of your phone you'll call him and it'll request work for you and then he'll call you back and he'll give you a job it's a simple job you do you just go steal some cargo and at the end of this mission it'll give you around 10k and fill up your stock I think by one or two I'm pretty sure it's one but this is not a very effective method because it has like a cooldown of like 20 minutes or something like that I mean it's kind of worth it but it's not as effective as owning at least one business so as you can see I just acquired one stock and this stock is worth 10k so technically if I do the math right so I'm estimating that if I fill up my stock all the way I will get 720,000 or somewhere around there I hope I'm doing the math right but yeah you can earn a lot of money from the warehouse and this stock that I acquired is one of the cheaper ones a lot of these businesses you can acquire with the MC clubhouse I think the cheapest one is around 200k you buy the MC clubhouse and then you can buy the other businesses through the MC clubhouse and these are all the names for all of the businesses or like I guess what these names of the nightclub represent and you can get these from the MC clubhouse and this is how you can make all your money from all those extra businesses you can also get ones like the bunker and I think that's the only one that you can really get as an external business or as an individual business so yeah okay now that we are back from that after all that you should know exactly how to do this I did all the setups and everything so now we're pretty much ready to be able to run this business now unfortunately I'm gonna have to cut the video off a little bit short because the video is getting too long and the next step in this GTA stitches to riches series is to spend and earn a lot of money and I don't really have time to earn as much money as we need to so I hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure to like subscribe and comment what you want to see next make sure to check out my merch I have brand new merch coming I know my first channel branded merch was just my logo uh, it's not very creative so I made a new one that's coming out in a few days it might actually be out by the time you're watching this video so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys in the next one so yeah see ya <laughs>